Edir Islanders, together with Tomáš, let me welcome you to a very important and exciting developer diary. Ahoj there, Islanders. Update 014, Playful Platform, is here and it is by far our biggest update yet. Not only does it contain a lot of amazing new features, some of them so big that they deserve their own separate developer diaries, but this update also charts a brave new course for islands. We are extremely happy and grateful to have you here, so let's jump in and see what 0.14 and the future has in store for you. One of the biggest features is the brand new playground we are adding to the game. The playground is not only a new place for you to visit and explore, but also a fresh new way to play islands. The breathtakingly beautiful castle serves as a host to our new minigame system. These minigames are short instance arenas launched from within the playground. Escape bombs in Bomb Dodge or show off your fencing skills in medieval training camp. Everyone will surely find something that catches their fancy and will be expanding the list of minigames on a regular basis. And every game you play will net you some XP so you can level up your avatar. Yes, Islanders, you heard that correctly. With 014, we are adding a meta progression system to Islands in which you level up your account by playing the minigames within the playground. And now you might ask, why would you actually care about leveling up? The answer is fashion. Within the playground, you'll find a fashion shop that offers a variety of new clothing options for players. But your options will be limited based on your level. So by leveling up your avatar, you'll gain access to fancier and fancier clothes that will not only show up within the playground, but in other game modes as well. Just to make sure that we are not interfering with creators' visions, there will be an option to disable these clothing items in custom games. Speaking of Explore, the new AI we promised is coming with update 014. Every creature within the game will now act more natural and more dangerous, behaving exactly how you'd expect them. This is a huge update that really shakes up how Explore plays, and we can't wait for you to see it for yourself and learn to be afraid of the wildlife again. And to make sure you enjoy your time to the fullest, we have revamped the visuals on both player models and animals. You'll see that our new player models stand out from the environment much more than before, while all the animals received new visuals and animations. Another new thing we are adding might seem small compared to the other ones, but it's actually a very important and useful one. We have completely revamped the in-game codex. The codex now has information on every important topic presented in much nicer and more logical way, but the big thing is that now it links to our wiki, which contains even more information on any topic you can think of. Today, I have with me Daniel, our UI programmer, who will introduce you to one of our coolest new features coming for creators in 014, our custom UI editor. Thank you. Um, islands have always been about uh, creating your own experience and stories. So we wanted to give you, the creator, even more control over your games. So with our great design team, we cooked up the next best thing, and we are happy to introduce to you our brand new in-game UI editor. It's a powerful and complex tool that can make your game really stand out. You can not only create custom HUD elements, but also full screen interactable UI. Imagine health bars, scoreboards, mini games. Wait, wouldn't it be easier just to give them the health bar or a scoreboard? For them, not for me. Let them have some fun. So we are starting with four basic components, button, image, text, and text input with plethora of properties that you can experiment with. All updatable on runtime, so you can have the dynamic UI that can feed information to the player the way you want. We have also added some other goodies to the editor, like ability to bind visual scripting events to specific keys pressed. And there is another thing that will make creators really happy. Uh, indeed there is, and it's a big one. So, let's hear it. Once we've launched 014, creators will be able to use monetization within their games. With the use of smart scripting, it will be up to creators to think of clever ways to monetize their creations. The currency of this economy will be coins. So if players choose to pay for content, the creator will receive his share also in coins. Of course, this is a very complex topic. So we are dedicating a full developer diary to it. If you want to learn more, just follow one of the links below. But that's not all, right? Indeed not. 
014 introduces numerous optimizations to the game, the overhauled avatar creation system, a brand new radial menu, changes to how horses are controlled, and the list just goes on. We cannot wait to see all your creations and how you use the new tools, and in the meantime, we will be gearing up for the full release. Coming in... When it's ready. Just kidding. We are planning on releasing islands out of early access this holiday season. We still have a way to go, but the future looks bright, and once Islands is officially released, that's when the real fun begins. We have a lot of ideas for both the explore mode and the platform side of things, but until then, stay classy, Islanders, and go create. All the best, Islanders.